Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, we want to take a look at how to import PDF into AutoCAD and also scale it. So this is a great practice when you are facing landscape drawings or civil drawings and you're looking for the CAT file to share with your detailers, but you're not receiving anything from the civil engineers or from the design team, you only have the drawing. So I'm gonna show you how to import those civil drawings that you need into AutoCAD, scale them properly, and then make some adjustment, make them reliable and great to work with so you can share that with your coordination team so they can create their models. Without further ado, let's jump into AutoCAD so we can see the process. And if you like the content, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. In this episode, learning AutoCAD, we wanna take a look at a very practical a workflow you're going to talk about taking pdf into autocad and turning them into a dwg file i'm pretty sure you guys faced in your coordination like some of the drawings or specifically for like a landscape or several drawings when you guys received um drawings it doesn't come with the model or at least 3d from the civil engineers so for your site coordination, you want to share a CAD file with your detailer. It's going to be easy, easier for them to turn them into 3D from 2D. So in this workflow today, I want to go over, uh, we have two different type of drawings, just a simple um, actual like a floor plan. I want to take this and also a civil plan. I want to take these two AutoCAD, turn the PDF into the actual uh, DWG file, so scale them and make sure everything is work, all the annotation layers and whatnot, and you can share that with your detailers when you're doing the coordination. So um, this process that we're going to do, basically importing PDF into DWG, um, is going to work for vector files, not for raster. So uh, vector, I mean, it's just going to be lines, right? So if you have scanned images and um, some type of um, kind of images on your drawing, it's going to be hard to convert with these process. There's going to be a different process. We're going to review it in different video. But for now, let's just focus on the PDF vector files, turn them into the actual um, DWG. So let's just start this is one of the uh, pdf for the utility plan uh we're gonna turn this pdf into the actual dwg so the first thing that we want to do when we get into the um our autocad space we want to first check the units right so you can kind of type units right here um and then um you can open it up uh, see what exactly your units are. So this one, I'll just put it on architecture. Um, you can, you know, whatever the precision you want to have. I'm going to make sure I select inches. And when I feel satisfied with this on everything that I need, so if, so you're selecting these basically based on your drawing. So if your drawing is a meter or an imperial or metrics, you basically come over here um, adjust your drawing units. Okay, so you're good to go. Uh, when you've done this and we know the units are good, what we do, we go to the insert tab on top, coming all the way down to the PDF import panel. And you can see it imports data from a page of a PDF file into a current drawing as AutoCAD object. So I can open it up, uh, PDF. Uh, and we're going to go and select any of the drawing that we want. So first, I want to select the actual civil that we talked about. I'm going to hit open. So let's just start with this box, a new box that it opens up. So the first one talking about location. It means if you want to specify an insertion point on the uh, your screen. So if you have a location, if you want to put it exactly on, let's say zero, zero here, you do that. If not, uh, AutoCAD would place it for you. If you want to have a, any rotation, you can select this one. Uh, plus the scale, I always leave it at one and then I will scale the drawing. So the PDF scale right here is one to one. This is what's going to be imported. And also you can see the page size. There was an architectural E1. 
sheet size which is 42 by 30 and this is all the info that you're getting from this sheet um so passing from the location uh, you go to the pdf data to import um if you kind of hover over any of them it's going to give you a little bit of explanation of what it does so import line segments and curves so we know it's a vector line so bringing all of those turn them into polyline and we'll see uh the next one is solid fields so imports 2d solid field let's say if you have a wall and the wall show as like a field object like it's a field solid field on the pdf it's going to turn it into hatch files so it's going to import those the next one is going to be the true type text so this one is going to all the different type of text that you have on the pdf is going to bring them in uh put them in the dwg and then raster images so we want to have this you know if there is anything images or anything that we want to bring in from the sheet let's just have these on so on the layers, so the first one, it says import object using the layers defined in the PDF. I would recommend to use this, bring it in, whatever those lines are drawn over there. And because most of the drawing exported from Revit. So if you use this, it's going to bring all the layers that are available on the PDF and came from the Revit or Civil 3D and whatnot is going to be exported over here or imported here, basically exported from the other source software and then create an object layer so this one imports object on separate layer for geometry text and solid fill and then this one is going to be the core and layer it means everything you see on this sheet is going to be on one single layer so i would recommend just leave it on this one and then it depends like you can kind of try these two see which one works for your project but i mostly leave it on this and it works perfectly for me when you come to the import options um, you can talk about import as block. So this is basically um, you're going to bring the whole sheet and then import them as a block if you want. Join lines and arc segments. So basically you can see right here joins the endpoint of important line and arc segments that are within a tolerance. Solids to hatches. So make sure you check that one. Apply line width property. So if there is any, you know, different light weight to all the PD uh, lines into the PDF. It's basically it's going to apply those and then infer line types from collinear dashes. So any kind of dashes is going to turn them into a polyline. If you want to do so, you can check it, but I'd leave it this way. So I'm going to just basically, these are all the settings basically that is required to do. So when you feel happy with this, just simply hit OK. And it's going to take a bit to start. Um, importing it so since it's asking me where you want to put it um let's say i want to say I put it here um and then as soon as i select the location you guys can see uh down here basically it's going to start uh evaluating solids and bringing in and it depends on how big your drawing is and how much info or data is on that pdf it basically brings it here for you so as you guys see, there is uh, the, all the PDF came in. Um, I'll be able to kind of see the drawings if I can kind of get close. Let's just click on some items, right? So when I go on this, it says polyline. You see Texas polyline. So basically all of those items that we talked about is just basically turned into a polyline and brought in to the actual sheets. So right here, you can do a few things that we need to do, right? Let's say you want to clean this up and also you want to uh, make sure you do the actual scaling so the first thing that i want to do let's double check the scaling right so right now it says five feet let me just do a, a di just for the, the distance see if this is kind of work right so i'm going to go from here to here just using the sheets so it says this is like a half an inch but that's supposed to be like a five feet right so what I need to do, I need to first, first things first, scale this drawing, right? It's going to be easy fix um, using the scale command, um, select the whole project. I'm going to do a scale. And then let me just go here. It says uh, specify a point. I'm going to specify this and I'm right here doing the reference, right? So I'm going to do specify this and then end of this which is going to be the actual 
So this is going to be the new length. It's asking me, what is this new length? I'll just say like, that's a 10 feet and this should be scaled. So let me double check one more time. Um, let's do the distance, see if that's 10 feet. So let me just select it over here. Um, go all the way here. Yeah, there you go. So we scale the drawing. So everything is scaled right now in this drawing. Okay. In this exercise, I want to bring in the floor plan and then I want to show you the error message that you're getting at some point and how to troubleshoot it. So I'm going to do the, uh, basically insert. I'm going to go, uh, bringing the PDF, uh, basically just select the floor plan that we kind of talked about. Um, everything is good. I'm happy with it. I just want to place it somewhere. I'll just place it over here. Um, so it's going to take a few seconds to basically import. Um, so import it. I want to do the scaling, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to basically select this all, uh, go to home scale. And then let's say I want to do this, uh, scaling over here. So I'm going to do the base point right there. I want to use the reference feature so i'm gonna go reference this line reference this grid and then i'm gonna do 29 feet 10 inches so i've seen like people get here when they hit scale it basically get this error message and the reason that you're getting this because if you remember in the civil sheet first we go to units and check the units make sure units are good right here we just brought in we started scaling so this is a first um, kind of error that you guys are getting. Make sure if you are not kind of set up your units, you're getting this image, right? Like like this error message. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to units. And then what I'm going to do right here, see on decimal, I go to the architectural. So precision, inches, all good. And right now I do it again. And it should be good at this point. Like I shouldn't be receiving any error message for scaling so i'm gonna do this real quick for you so you can basically uh go to the reference feature i'm gonna reference first point i'm gonna do the second point which is gonna be between those two and the new length is gonna be 29 feet and 10 inches so you guys can see done so my drawing is scaled everything is good so if i get a distance between those two it should kind of give me the actual 29, 10. Uh, yeah, it's going to be the exact same and everything is scaled. So my drawing are scaled. Everything is good. Uh, one little thing is when I go on uh, some of the text, because this one kind of brought in with all the layers. So these are all basically have a text object. So you'll be able to adjust those texts and move them. And you can see everything has a, a M text um it's basically brought in as a text object and you'll be able to kind of adjust every single item that you want and in case if there is going to be anything that wasn't coming in as um just a polyline anything with the, like a different type that it wasn't like a text and you want to turn all of them into a text the best location to go and do all of that is going to be to recognize um shx text so this is where you basically are going over there to change all the pdf files into text so whatever it is text it, it didn't export it as text object and it came as a polyline this is where you can go and adjust this hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you like the content make sure to subscribe and leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.